Hi guys, welcome back to Photoshop for Web Developers. My name is Neil Pearce, and in this lesson, we're going to focus on the recent work section. Um, it's going to be pretty straightforward, and we're just going to use three examples. So if you haven't, um, or if you have got some nice examples you want to put into this this section, then open them up in Photoshop now. Doesn't matter what size they are and we're going to res resize them down using the same techniques as we did in our image slider and then we're going to add a little drop border a little subtle effect there, obviously our text then we're going to finish off creating our button ok so jump back to where we were, where we were then last lesson um, what I've done I've added bring the guys back, I've added text same services that we've got here um, I didn't want to go through that in the last lesson because it's a bit mundane because you all know how to type and I've just used some guides to drag them from the top down so we can get our text nice and aligned nice and centered, our icons nice and centered okay so let's hide our guides and then what we're going to do is to obviously we need our recent works divider okay so we're going to add that in like we did before we're going to select this services divider in our layers palette and we're going to choose the move tool shift alt key down and we're just going to click and drag down then we're going to open that up and change that to recent works okay and then It's capital W, yep. And then using our move tool, we're just going to shift that over with our arrows on our keyboard. Right, so let's change that then quickly to recent divider, and then drag that down to the bottom. Then select the background layer, and then choose the rectangle marquee tool, layers pa um, tools panel. Change the foreground to white, and then we're going to open up our info character palette. So open that up, F8, and then we're going to look down here and we're going to drag out a selection that's about 300 by 190 um, high, so 300 wide, but 190 high. Does have to be spot on? Okay, that'll do. And then we're going to fill out with white with the paint bucket tool. And before we do that, we need to create a new layer. So create a new layer. I'm going to call that BG. Then fill that. Control D to deselect. Okay, so then open up um, your three examples of your work. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to grab the rectangle marquee tool and then I'm going to select top half of this and I'm going to go down to edit copy merge now as you can see copy merged we can't do it it's blanked out reason is we haven't unlocked this layer so just remember to grab the icon and just the lock icon up top here and just drag it down into the bin once it's unlocked then you can go to edit down to copy merged okay then go to back to your um, rectangle and then hold down control and click on that layer bring up it as a selection then we're gonna what we're gonna do we're gonna add a five pixel border around this so what we want to do is to contract this selection so we can do that by going up to mod uh, select sorry then down to modify then over to contract and then we're going to contract this by five pixels so click OK. Then we're going to go out to Edit, down to Paste Special, and Paste Into. Before we lock this, we just want to press Control T on a keyboard to bring up the Transform tool, and just going to grab on the corners and just resize that down how we see how we see fit, how how we want it to look. Okay, looks good to me. OK, that. Excellent, so next up then we want to create that little drop border and 
and we can do that very easily by copying this BG layer by cli uh, clicking and dragging it down into the new layer icon then with the move tool selected we just want to move that down and across then we want to bring the opacity down to about 17 percent okay that doesn't look like that needs to come down a bit more okay so easy enough uh, lock these image rename that image the layers palette um, call this border and then we want to select the border and the BG and just use our duplicate skills by holding down the shift and alt key and with the move tool selected and get our two arrows and just drag that across let go and click and drag again bring back our guides make sure that this one is positioned right at the edge of that guide okay so what we can do now is to make sure these are horizontal centered we can group them together drag that one down to there because that's that one isn't it the first one so group that together and then group that one together then group that one together okay so it should be that one that one and that one select all the groups and then distribute the horizontal centers excellent so it looks good to me in fact those two need to be pushed up slightly okay brilliant right so again do the same what we did before select a part of this you don't have to select a part of it you can actually just bring it all in copy merged hide our guides get in my way um, we'll set group 2 open up group 2 click on the BG layer not the border the BG layer select modify contract 5 pixels edit paste special paste in 2 control T then to shift that in holding down the shift key remember and then looks good to me then we'll quickly do that for the next one again unlock the layer drag it down into the lock icon into the bin edit copy merged select modify contract 5 pixels edit paste special and paste in two that needs to go above that above that actually and then drag that down okie dokie so that's them done just rename these layers appropriately otherwise you'll get confused later on and we'll call this food for fort food for fort and we'll call this one retro and yeah, lock that image and this one will be creative style okay then select all the groups together group those and just call that recent works so now you're all organized in your layers palette and as a designer you hand this over to the developer 
front end developer and they'll think oh great it's all nicely grouped layers all uh, named appropriately and no confusion okay so next up then is just to add our text okay so just add text underneath there we need to choose the Seagull UI so open up your recent works group in your layers palette we're going to use the uh, create yeah use the creative style first set the top layer um, choose Seagull UI and there 14 pixels and then type out creative design a style sorry and we'll say design and then we'll move that to the center then we'll um, give this some last styles just open that up the blending modes in fact we'll change the color of this first to to a dark grey and then open up um, the layer palette open up the layer styles for that layer and then we're going to give it a drop shadow and change it blend mode to normal white and do one zero and turn it right up and that looks good to me so okay that and uh, we'll just copy that and drag it over and we'll do it again for that one this one is going food for thought this one is going to retro Call that retro. Oops. So we did the development on this. Let's shift it over, make sure it's nice and center. Then open up our last one. And say food for fort. I'm going to say design again. Right, so that's pretty straightforward. Don't know if I need to just show you that, but all we need to do now then is to add our button at the bottom there. And we're done. So if we just select our background layer again, add a new layer, and then we'll use the rectangle marquee tool again, we'll change the uh, foreground to the brown that we used in our menu and turn off web safe colors I should make the make the dark brown in the hover state there and then we'll bring back our guides and we'll just drag it out from there to there, fill that with the paint bucket tool, and again, we'll make a copy of this. Just drag that into the new layer icon, and we'll just move it down and across, and bring down the opacity to 17 percent. Or actually, we do it 20 take our layers of uh, guides away look at this needs to um, use a transform tool just need to squeeze it up and put them a lick it a little bit longer and yes yeah, very subtle border we just bring that down slightly a bit more and then we just bring the opacity up, I think, because it's a bit darker. 
Yeah, that would do ya. Okay, so then let's add your text and we're gonna use um a lobster. So choose lobster. Um we have the colour white and just type in what do we say view recent works seal works see all works and just open up your characters palette the A there will go to window down to character and it's going to increase the font just click and drag that up and then position that with your arrow tools using the V key on your keyboard to activate the move tool and perhaps we'll just give that a bit of a it's italic and then I want to bring that down a little bit more take the italic off okay so it's just about fiddling about with it, getting it how you want it to look and um, I'm happy with that it um, needs to come over slightly get rid of that layer because I don't know how that got there Okay, then while well, we've got these selected, just group these together and let's call this um, button. And then we're going to add add that to our recent works folder. So just drag it up into that, and then that should be all all tucked away nicely, all nice nicely aligned and named and all ready for the next lesson. We're going to create the footer. Okay, so as you can see, we need to increase the um, canvas size slightly, we'll just show how to do that and then we'll crack on with the footer so thanks for listening and we'll see you in the next lesson